Welcome back. It has been too long and uh, excited to be back. We're actually going to start at our spot here at Winding. Um, and this is mostly because, for whatever reason, when we left off last time, we had no silver. <laughs> so we've got to catch some fish here um, before moving on to Old Berg. So we do have two Adriaticas. I was just even just remembering like what we had left, what we had gotten so far. Um, I think I have too big of a hook on that first one, but anyway, I'm assuming we have, let's see, 12. Whoa, sorry about that. I'm assuming we have, um, can't stop that from happening right now, apparently. Some kind of, Lacerti or something on this one. Yeah, so we still have the smaller one on this one So Let's go garlic dough and Do the same bream sub and we'll go more like 10 All we're doing here. This is to show you that this spot is actually pretty dried up. <laughs> we won't catch much here. I don't think um, But hopefully we'll catch a couple fish and we'll have enough to travel to Old Berg um, I want to try a spot that I saw someone talking about in the forum at Old Berg and see if it works for us. See if our gear is strong enough. It'll be a good test. I'll be your guinea pig and um, see if it's a good spot. If you are still like I am on this account leveling, we are 16, which actually means if this spot at Old Berg goes okay, we could go to Quarry. That's right. We need to start leveling up harvesting baits. Cottage cheese dough. I guess the question is, well, whenever we do the video at Cory, here's a bream. Whenever we do the video at Cory, are we going to be able to find good enough places to fish to make enough silver to actually be able to work on leveling up our, our ground bait? I don't know. Um, so we just need to get a few fish here and then we can travel to Old Berg and get set up. What we're going to be going for at Old Berg is common carp. Got a really big hook on this first line, so we probably ought to change that. I think having too big of a hook with bream does work against you. I don't guess I have put a video up or played on this account since the last uh, fairly significant update. As they have definitely changed the way digging works. You see we have insufficient energy. You have to chase energy now to be able to dig, but supposedly if you do successfully dig, you get more results. I haven't played with it much. It seems like it's not going to be as lucrative a thing, especially at low levels. It's not going to be as good of a way to level up bait crafting. Um, you know, unless you can find a really affordable way to be able to push your energy up constantly just because it's you spend so much energy just to dig one time. And if digging one time uses that much energy, it's going to be hard to justify that expense just to get that one op opportunity for points where normally if you have full energy, you could dig infinite. I mean, not infinite, but multiple, multiple times. So what I found, at least in this spot that we're at now at Winding, last time I tried to fish here actually with my son, um, is that the bream spot wasn't as good as it was. We would still catch some like I'm doing here but just not as many, and at the chub spot also. Although you might catch a couple early in the morning that it really was too slow. So this spot does not seem as good as it was back when we were hitting it pretty hard and, and using it to level up and get a lot of silver. Looks like the fish have, have moved on a little bit from this place. Uh, but I'm sure there are others. Actually, if, if Old Berg does not work out or if it ends up just being too much for our gear 
I understand that a lot of people are catching a lot of Crucian and Gibble trophies again at Mosquito, which is fun. It's even if it's a pretty decent rate of trophies, it's still not the most lucrative uh, or easiest way to level, especially when you're up to this level. We're at 16 now on this account. But if, if there aren't other known hotspots, at least that I'm aware of, it might be worth looking at. How many markers do we have now? Oh, we've got some. Shoot. We lost out on some money here by not selling those. I think what happened was last time we were playing this is when we were getting all the disconnects and everything. And so that's probably why we didn't sell those fish. We need what? About seven, eight silver. That's a blue bream. If that had been a marker, that would have paid for our trip for sure. We need seven or eight silver just to get us started, and that obviously doesn't allow for, just to get us traveling there, that doesn't allow for um, making ground bait, which we really need to do as well. Our ground bait level isn't high enough for us to be able to um, use the exact recipe that the person in the forums talked about using for the common carp, but we could do a substitute. We're just catching a bunch of small stuff. Kind of makes me want to put in like red worm or something. Seeing that um, there's a decent marker. Seeing that blue bream come in. So the bite rate's not too bad. I think what has changed a little bit maybe is the percentage of markers. At least that's what it seems like. I guess we could go ahead and go here pretty soon because that would give us time. One, two, three, we only have four markers. I just wanna make sure we have plenty of silver to get there and go get set up. Let's throw this in one time with red worms. Let's see if we can't get a, a blue bream or something. Wow, that's a pretty nice one. Yeah, that'll help for sure. That one fish is probably enough silver to travel. We're also very close to hitting level 17. Oh, there's another decent decent bite, it looks like. All right, I think we've got enough. Let's see what this is on the red worm. That is not a bream. Is that a chub? Huh. Let's go sell our fish and make sure we have enough to travel. What would be nice is if we have a couple of, a couple of ingredients to uh, put together this ground bait. So to give credit where credit is due, um, today is, is April 1st. No April Fool's jokes coming from M-Dog though. Um, to give credit where credit is due, someone named THBD, THBD in the forum, is who posted this spot at Oldberg, and its coordinates going to be 1768, which I will show you here momentarily. And it looked like THBD had a had a really good, um, some good success catching a bunch of common carp. Now we're also going to occasionally see grass and other stuff, and so it really may be difficult on our current oh look at this going for that trophy would have been nice all right let me let me check our yeah 30 silver we'll take it 
Now let's just, well, hold on. Let's think about this on our ground bait. Probably use feed corn. I don't know. What else do we want to put with corn? So what this person in the forums used was corn, cookies, eggs, and then a banana attractant. So kind of a weird mixture. Um, I don't think I can use eggs now, but let's just double check. Oh, I can. Okay, so corn, egg, and then it's just to pick an attractant. Let's buy a couple more feed. And a couple of more, uh, about three eggs. Because eggs is, and feed is something we won't have, we won't be able to get at Old Berg. Is there any more attractant we want to use? I mean, um, ingredient we want to use. All right, so we can do sunflower oil. I don't like that it doesn't show us anymore we could use caramel. We could use vanilla. I think vanilla would probably work good. So he was using banana, but you have to have 40% ground bait to use banana. So let's do vanilla. We'll get three of them here. The question is, do we want to do anything else? Um, cookies you have to be at 30 percent peas aren't bad oh yeah we have to be at 30 percent well let's don't overdo it let's just do it like this all right let's go with this is our carp sub for now feed corn chicken egg and vanilla. Need to get two or three stacks of this if possible. So we're almost at 20%. Oops. Feed, corn, chicken egg, vanilla. Okay, we need to want buy one more corn. Let's see if we can be successful three times in a row, that would be something. Okay, I like it. So I think we're good. Um, The only other thing, uh, this is this is one of the new things. If you haven't seen this, they're selling these packages of baits. It's pretty decent. Like if you're just getting started, it's not it's not a bad way to go. Um, where is? definitely don't we definitely want to go for something other than carp on our third one I'm thinking is there something called forest strawberry I've never used these before I don't think forest strawberry 15 Ooh, I gotta watch my, uh, my my silver. All right, we'll just get one stack of them, I guess. And then let's go ahead and get our rig set up. Large one, and this will be with potatoes. And the ground bait will be carp sub. Okay. And then this.
this one will also be carp sub and large one and potatoes. And then this one will be Crucian Gibble Mix. Maybe more like a, I'd love to have a four. Um, forest Strawberry. We could use those cherry ones as well. How much for a somewhat reasonable size four hook? Out of stock. All right, let's travel. So I can show you this spot that THBD has had a lot of success with. It's going to be a real fight if we get on, you know, like this person, I'm going to assume it's a he, but it may not be he or she was catching like 10 kilo commons at times but he's he or she is using much bigger gear than we are so we could definitely find out very quickly that it's just too much for us but it's worth a try okay we can't do it so we'll just use the all right so 1768 is going to be one of these scary spots up and to the left so you go across the bridge take a left and we're going to be looking for 1768. So we're not going to go all the way across around the bend. We see, you can see we're already at 68. So now it's just getting to 17. All right. We have fished this spot a lot. I think what we're aiming for is actually the other side. Because in his post, he mentions about 70% of a cast. We're about to get in real trouble here. Uh, instead of clipping, I'm going to kind of do what he's doing with percentages for now. Let's see how far that goes. Yeah, that is actually great. So now we've seen how far that went. Let's do a test now. Because, um, so let's take the ground bait off. Because we don't want to waste the ground bait. Oh, shoot. Did I have the right? Yeah, I guess so. All right, let's do a, um, let's try 30. All right, 30 is way too long. So let's try 25, because I'd like to be able to give you a, a, a clipping distance. I don't mind using percentages because I'm a you know I've been around for so long that used to be all we had, so I kind of like the percentages. But I think that was too long. <laughs> I can't tell. I think it might have bounced off of something. I don't know. So let's try uh, 23 and see what it does. It may have just bounced from casting too hard. I'm not sure. Yeah, to me, 23 looks pretty good. Let's try um, putting this back on. And let's go to 23 and let's try to cast it right at 70%. Okay, that was close. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, you might go 24. Maybe I'll go 24 on my main line next time and see what happens with that. Okay. And then on this one, we've got the Crucian Gibble Forest 15. We don't have a size 6 hook, but all right. And let's do here. We'll try 24 on this one. This one's going to be a little harder to get over there. Yeah, I think 23 is better, but this will work for now. Okay, now let's see if we can uh, recreate 
with we don't have the same ground bait because we don't have it leveled up we don't have as strong a gear obviously but we are gonna see if we can recreate some success with these 7.5 reels I think ideally what we want to see is um, common carp that are more like in the three to five kilo range we'll be able to hopefully get those in pretty well all right that is a gibble uh, let's go down to 23 I do really wish we had a little bigger hook for the gibble line but six should be fine The question with um, these spots for carp, common carp especially. Uh, first of all, what you're looking for is you're looking for places where you can catch common carp at a higher percentage than uh, grass carp. Um, and then the second thing is, is how long does it take to get a bite? What's the bite rate? Those are kind of the important, important factors with these types of spots. You know, cause I have fished at bear before, like if I'm playing something else, streaming and playing something else, I'll throw in my main lines at bear, fishing with something like last night I was doing this with a, uh, a boilie that's going to catch pretty much all. Hey, this is decent here. Wow, this might be a trophy. Um, something that's going to catch all common carp. Pretty much not catching many grass carp at all, just all commons. But I might not only get a bite every 10 minutes, you know, in real time. So it's very slow, but it's worth it because you're getting those. Actually, this is, is this a common? That's interesting. Okay, it's big enough to be a marker, it's good. But, a little scary. So we've got these potatoes in and you know, it's been a few minutes and no bite. Oh, that might have been. Yeah, that's potatoes getting a bite. So we've only been here, what, three or four minutes probably. And here's our first, our first bite. So let's see what this is. It's something very small. It's kind of interesting, okay catching gibbles on potatoes. All right, let's see if we've got, okay, no clip installed. So let's do 23 on this one. And that looks good. We're aiming for that tree over there. So I really like 23 clipped. So if you don't want to do the percentage one nice thing about doing the percentage, however, is you get some variety. You know, you're going to get some variance on distance because you're not going to hit 70 perfect every time, most likely. So you kind of fish out a little different spots. But if you like clipping, which I understand, um, it looks like 23 is, is about where it's at from here. So again, we're at coordinate 1768. If you want to really try to hit the common carp hard then you want to use potatoes on all three if you have a mixed bag of gear so like we have one rod or rig that is a lot weaker then you want to only put potatoes on the ones that 
can handle it, and then maybe fish for Crucian Gibble trophies on the third one, which the recent increase in Crucian and Gibble trophies have mostly been on boilies like the different strawberry boilies or the hot cherry boilies. Size one, large one hook seems to be a good size to fish with potatoes on here and at bear. You get a pretty decent bite rate normally if it's a good spot. But it's big enough where you also get the big ones. Um, on the Crucian Gibbles, I'd say from to me like size four hook is probably more appropriate than large one for the Crucian Gibbles, but you could use large one. It's a nice gibble, I think. Yeah. The nice thing about having this one line going for uh, Crucian Gibbles is it does just give us the, a fish to catch every once in a while when the commons are a little slower. But the longer we stay, the more likely we are to hit that one fish that's going to you know, spool us or do something. I think you want to be at, um, so the author of the, of the post, let me see if I can close some of this so that it doesn't, um, Sorry, I was trying to look real quick to see what, yeah, what size gear this person was at. Because I'm assuming it's bigger than what we're at. Oh, wow. That's a weird, well, I'm not going to tell you to do that. He's really over, he or she is really overloading his reels so it's definitely taking a chance but I'll tell you this he's up to the level of having Fortuna feeders and Sputnik Proton Pro 6000s which if you're not familiar with those those are 9.5 kilo reels so his gear is a bit stronger than what we're using and not only that he has them overloaded in other words he's got much stronger line than what the reel calls for which can work i guess if it's a high enough quality reel i certainly do it not to that degree but i do it a little bit on my most expensive gear on my main account but you do need to sort of remember you're taking a chance that's you know that's how reels are broken that's how gear can get messed up in a hurry high percentage of gibbles right now which is nice and reasonable size it might be a little bit better even if we had you know like a size four hook instead of the six but doesn't seem bad the, the bite rates not super fast but it doesn't seem bad on the gibble front the potatoes have been slow Still, still kind of needing to figure out if it's too slow or not. We have the one marker on the common carp so far.
Okay, potatoes are hitting again. It's another nice gibble. Over a kilo this time. Okay, it's a small something again. So right now we are not hitting the, the big carp very successfully. Um, we'll put this one in a slightly different place. We have not had a bite on that second rod. Now we do have a leader here, uh, not necessary at, at Old Berg especially going for this type of fish. <coughs> but it shouldn't hurt us. It's going to take a little bit of power off. We probably, honestly, we probably should consider taking those off going for these big carp because we're going to need every bit of power we can get out of this reel and the line. So as we reel these in, I may do that. Snip those off real quick. We'll just have to Alt F4 if we get into too much trouble. A little concerned about this middle line. Um, it's been out there a while. I think we're going to do the recasting thing. I don't know if it was sitting too close to the tree. I don't know. Let's go ahead and take that off. Let's put this one down at 22 meters and recast it. That looked pretty good. Sun's coming out, middle of the day here, approaching. Normally I would say this spot is gonna be the best in the morning and evening. Not necessarily overnight, but. Yeah, we're getting a nibble on that middle rod now, so it's probably good we recast that. Carp will definitely nibble away. It's a roach, isn't it? All right, let's go down to 22 meters. We're gonna do 22 meters on all of them, I think, for now. Just see if that um, gets any better action. I have certainly fished in this spot a lot over the years. Um, for tench and just general fishing, a lot of times I will fish just right here close where these lilies are and this moss stuff on the ground. 
and then sometimes over down this left alley between the tree and the weeds that tends to be pretty good too and then sometimes right into this area here servers restarting again tonight at midnight it looks like Nibble finally, well, I thought it was turning into a bite. Pulled it too quick, maybe. But tench is occasionally um, a fish that can be caught in this in this area. So that's another thing you could do with your third one is, I don't know, try to catch tench with corn or wheat seeds. Was intense bloodworm working on, or maybe redworm? I think it was intense bloodworm. That was working on Tinch, wasn't it, back, back in the day when we were making videos earlier? We're so close to level 17. Let's see where the um, weekly commons have been caught so far. All at bear. A lot of sandwich. So on the US server, Seeing a lot of potatoes on Old Bird. But this spot is feeling a little slow right now. Maybe we need to go farther, not shorter. Looks like our first line's getting a bite now. Maybe we need to go 24 meters. All right, this might be something. This looks like it might just be the perfect size fish. I guess it could be a little bigger. Not big enough that we can't get it in. Oh, is that a black carp? That's a little scary. It's nice. A little levelless, probably. Oh, not quite. So, a very small black carp. Um, Alright, let's try 24. It's way up over there. We can try it, but it is... A little close to the shore, it looked like to me. But we'll see. Maybe that works better. Oh, I think it's already getting a nibble. Maybe that was the secret.
Okay. Well, all we're getting is grass and black at the moment. All right, let's go 24 on this one too. Let's let's test this theory. Man, we just about hit that tree. And there is no reason why this line should be going this slow with going for Crucian Gibbles. Let's pop over to Wild Cherry off of, uh, I mean, sorry, Hot Cherry off of Forest Strawberry. And let's go 24 on this one as well. I don't think that quite made it, but it's a nice cast. We'll take it. Okay, let's see if we get bites. They're all at 24. We are so close to hitting 17. So we've gotten a black and a grass, um, which is to be expected, but we would hope that over time it would be a higher percentage of commons. Uh, but what I was looking at before they we started getting a couple bites there was what are we going to do when a fish we can't handle gets on? It's going to get around the island one way or the other, most likely. And if it goes this way, then we'll have to walk down this shore. If it goes this way, it's a little more trouble because it depends on... We have to just be able to tell. I mean, it's probably still going to funnel this way, but that just means that walking around this corner potentially is going to be a little bit more demanding. But we'll see. If I didn't mention it before, we are using the inline rig on our bottom fishing. And we even have been putting a, we put a point in there. And of course that's because we haven't gotten to loop rig yet. Although some would argue that inline rig works just as good, if not better, at some of these cautious fish. But I typically use loop rig on, in this kind of situation on my main account. I don't know why so much slack is building up here. Maybe we never quite straightened it out. We'll see. Now the Crucian Gibble big, big boys might come better at night. At least that's how they do it, Mosquito. I still think we're getting a nibble on that first line though. Okay, let's see how they are liking the wild cherry. What size it is. It looks small. And that is a crucian, I believe. The graphical representation of the fish have changed slightly since the uh, update. They, I think, updated to the newest version of the engine that they're using. And the most recent uh, uh, big update. Very slight wind which I guess could be causing that jitter in the first line since it's not absolutely like completely tight. But it looked to me like it was initially getting a little bit of a bite there. So we'll see. 
we will see how it plays out. So it's a little after 4 p.m. in game. So we should start to see the temperature think about slightly going down soon versus up, which hopefully will inspire a few more fish before we wrap this video up. I'm really thinking about if we can make a little bit of silver here today. I'm really thinking about doing some experimental videos at Cory. I mean, I have, I have no reason to believe that we're going to have great success there, but we could certainly try some things out. If nothing else, we could just look at cafe orders and see if we could try to target some cafe orders. I think that's where we need to be to start crafting cottage cheese, which we need to do to start working towards fish pieces. Um, might be a lot of grinding, but it might be fun. I know a lot of people have asked for some help at Cory on f bottom fishing, so I don't know of any spots right now that's been good recently, but we could certainly do some experimenting and see what we can come up with. So maybe that's what we'll do next video. I don't know that this spot right now feels like it's worth coming back to. And I hate to go back to catching just Crucian and Gibble trophies. We've done that enough on this account and in this video series, I think, at Mosquito. So just know that that's out there. You can look in the Russian Fishing Forum for forums for um, some of the where the spots are that people are catching them at Mosquito. But Comfort has been slowly going up since the rain stopped and the sun's been out for a while. So I was hoping throwing them 24 meters was going to, a little closer to shore might increase the bite rate, but it doesn't really look like it has. So I think I might think uh, you know my preference might be to go back down to 23 meters that way you know you're not getting in too shallow of an area you don't actually want to be in those weeds just kind of snugged up right against them if possible and all around that fallen tree over there You see the temperature starting to slowly go down now. Overcast, hopefully a cool evening. It should be a pretty decent chance at catching a couple commons, but we will have to see how it plays out. If we have nothing by, I don't know, maybe 10 p.m., maybe 11 p.m., might recast at 23 meters. By the way, if you are at a similar level as this account is and you're wanting to go fish at Cory, your ideal plan would be not to bottom fish most likely, but to start trolling. To put your 7.5 reels on a couple of cheap uh, but appropriate strength spinning rods and get you a boat ticket and just get a couple of the lures off of the weekly list that seems to be working and just troll around. You're gonna get a lot more experience and uh, silver 
at Corey doing that. I don't know if I'll do that on this account, to be honest, but we'll see. But that's a good way to break into Corey. And then once you can spend the silver to get your bait crafting up to 50%, you can start making fish pieces. And that's when you can start targeting burbot overnight. And um, I guess a new staff guy just went up on the RF4 forum. And so then once you can start targeting, just trying to see if they've put it on the main forums yet. Not yet. Yeah, we've gone a while here without a bite. Um, let's recast. I think 23 is plenty, in fact. We're going to do 23, and then we're going to go 22 on this one. Same same direction, but 22 on this one. on this one and the other thing to remember we do not have the ideal ground bait you know we can't make carp mix carp ground bait yet we can't even make the ground bait that was suggested um, for this spot so that could be the difference in why we're not getting as many bites it really could I mean sometimes ground bait makes that much of a difference so So 23, 22, 22 right now. Let's see what happens. First line just took a hit there. I think I'm probably going to pick it up and see. I think there's a fish on. It's swimming away with it. Something tiny though. That actually went through the tree. Now the second line's getting action. There it goes. Right species, just not the right size. And that was at 22, so keep that in mind. Temperature is continuing to drop. We should see the Crucian Gibbles start biting again. Pretty good. that went yeah 
Yeah, it looks like number one has another bite. Not yet. Might be wrong. So 36 minutes ago, we started to catch fish in this spot. There was a 10 minute break right in the middle of the day where no bites happened. That is unfortunate. You're really in search of the spots where that kind of break doesn't happen. It's always worth, uh, especially with this type of gear, to try fishing down here in the pond, what a lot of people call the boot, off this bridge or over here in this corner um, with potatoes or boilies. Last time I was down there on potatoes, you're getting a lot of grass carp, but because you're down in the pond, it's much more manageable to get them in. Um, I personally just find it Again, right species, just not right size. I personally just find it um, kind of exhausting to catch big grass carp for what you get for them. And so if there's if there's very little common carp biting in that area, it may not be worth it. But if, if they are biting down there, then it's totally worth it to go through the grass carp. So that's another thing we could try before moving on to quarry. We'll see. Temperatures drop significantly now. We're getting down into a much better temperature range. I'm honestly a little surprised at how much the um, Crucian and Gibbles are liking the potatoes. If you'll notice, the only thing we're catching common on, and they've been really small commons, is the, um, the one that's at 22 meters. So we might should try going down to like 21 meters on this front line. It may be that the common are in a little deeper area right now. I might be fishing in the wrong depth or spot. We're getting another quick bite on this second one. So I might move the first one. Let's do that. Let's move it to 21. Let's 
see what happens. Wow. Okay. I may have been in the wrong spot this whole time. Let's go back to the um, forest strawberry. There it goes. Something just took off with it. Yep. I could tell that was something with purpose. I think we're okay, but in case we're not, let's Let's walk it a little bit. We want it to go back to the other side of the island. There it goes. Well, there we go. So, 21 meters. Clip it at 21 meters. If you want to get into the bigger carp, <laughs> apparently. It could also be the time and weather, though. I mean, I don't know for sure that it's... What we'll find out pretty soon is, is this a common or is this a grass? If it goes too much further, we're going to have to start walking. We've got a lot of line on here, but if it is a grass, I mean, it'll just keep going and going. And we'll have to, you know, walking around this corner up here, we'll have to, um, It comes out a little bit before it pushes back in. All right, let's get this other fish. We'll take a chance here. I don't recommend this, but, you know, do as I say, not as I do kind of thing. It's a good way to lose a fish. It's a good way to break a line. But... We're going to start pulling it. We're going to start trying to get a little more aggressive here. And we're going to hunt it down a little bit. It's already to the right of the island, so it's if it pops back to the left, it's not going to pop on this side of the island, which is just what we want to make sure of. Now we start walking it down. Try to keep that pressure on it as we walk. That's why I think just probably stop and see if you can get it to give up a little bit. It's always safer when you can be stationary. 
the bend of the rod is hopefully putting some pressure on the fish, trying to wear it out. As long as we're keeping it in the yellow, we're probably okay. Oh, there it went. So that's the danger of walking. Oh, the lion had gotten a long way out though. Well, that is too bad. Maybe we'll have a trophy uh, gibble on to make up for it. Okay, that probably was a trophy. Oh, we got snagged. Goodness, what a mess. All right, happens to all of us, I guess. That was a, uh, a rough couple moments there. Let's, um, let's try to catch one more fish here, whatever it is. Let's go to 22, I guess. I think this one's at 21, right? Yeah. Oh, well, I hate that. Better hooks and better control the fish is what we need. And then just better technique, I'm sure, as well. Now we're into the overnight hours. So you would think the Crucian Gibbles would still bite. I'm not sure about the common carp. And I don't know if that was a common or a grass. I mean, it felt more like a grass to me, but it could just be the gear we have. Did I ever take the leader off this top one? No, so we're actually trying to do that with a 6.4 leader on, which is not ideal. Leveling off the Crucian.
So I don't know. I don't feel like I have a good read on this spot. It may be that we were casting too far for a lot of this session. Backing it down to 21 meters, you might get better results even throughout the day. I just don't know. I'd have to test it again. But it's going to be a little bit of a struggle, I think, if the carp are that big. Um, it's worth it when you get them in. It uh, is discouraging when you don't. So if you can afford a couple of nicer hooks, maybe it might be worth doing that as well. Just to increase your chances of keeping them on. Something on the second line. Trying to get on there. If you're going to try this spot, I would even try maybe 20 meter clips. It may be that the better fishing spot is more in the middle, not as close to the other shore. So I was a little worried about overnights are going to be pretty slow. But thankfully, you've got options. I mean, if you're fishing at Old Berg, once you get to overnight, find a bream spot, try to go for eel, burbot, something else. I don't know that it's worth fishing in this spot on the once it's really late. Unless you're going to go hard and on the crucian and gibbles. But if you're at Old Berg, you probably aren't wanting to do that. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this up and see how we've done. Silver-wise, I'm sure not very good, but definitely a risk-reward spot on the with our current gear. Oh, yeah, I was going to take this off just in case next time we do something similar, get that leader off. Now, if we'd stayed a little bit longer, first thing in the morning should have been really hot. I mean, it should have been a good time, actually, but we've already gone long on this video.
No appropriate orders. And only 30 silver. Okay. We'll try to do better next time. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.